Well, I'm here at the ISTE 2019 conference. of all the videos that my students did this year that were so awesome so here are some for you to view and that my students have created uh, throughout the year one of the ideas expressed in many of the sessions I've attended is that students need to do and create in order for their learning to have an impact on their lives from eighth grade robotics we're going to show you how to make an EVP book. My name is Kaylee. And I'm Michaela. And here we're going to teach you how to make an EV3 book. So first we are putting an axle through a frame and connecting a bushing to keep the spiral gears in place and putting another bushing to secure it. Here we are putting axles through connectors on the left and right side of the frame and putting the lift arms through the axle. And then we are putting gears on top of the axles and connectors at the ends of the lift arms. Here we're securing the claw to the leftover of the frame. Here we're securing the claw to the medium motor. We built the claw separately from the medium motor, so later in the build, we would be able to secure the medium motor to the claw. So go ahead and make an EVP claw. Today we'll be informing you guys on the perfect parts for building a dragster. Especially the wheels. Hello, my name's Pia. And I'm Nathan. I won the robotics class of 2019. Whoa, there's so many options for the perfect wheel for the dragster, but... These are the working ones at the moment. These students are from my 7th grade robotics. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and comment down below. And finally from my 6th, 7th grade robotics combo class. I wanted a Lego power saw like this to fix your friend's bad hairline. Watch this video to the end and we'll show you how to make it and how to I'm Micah and this is Nathan. And this is our vlog about building the Lego power saw. This razor saw can cut things like paper. And Joseph's hairline. And Joseph's hairline. So how this works is real simple. There's a touch sensor you have to press down on, which is connected to the battery, which is also connected to a motor. Then the motor charges up these gears to move this saw. Like this. If you want to learn how to build a power saw like this, the picture frame and I'm post it. All you gotta do is just go to nxtprograms.com and then there's gonna be a bunch of robots and programs to build. And go to NXT Mindstorm and there's instructions for the NXT for easy to difficult level. This one's a medium and it's under the word power saw. I'm so proud of my students. Thanks for watching everybody.